What if everything you're trying to hold on to is exactly what's holding you back? Join me as we explore Alan Watts's transformative wisdom on the beauty of impermanence and discover how letting go can change your life in 2024. Why do we cling to what can't last? It's a question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. Have you ever noticed how a river never stops moving? It's a continuous flow, a relentless journey from one point to another. It flows constantly, changing with every passing moment. The river adapts to the terrain, the weather, and the obstacles in its path. Now imagine for a moment trying to hold on to a handful of water. You can feel its coolness, its fluidity, but you can't keep it. You can squeeze your fist tight, but the water will always find a way to slip through your fingers. It's an exercise in futility. Life, much like a river, is in constant motion. It ebbs and flows, never remaining the same for long. It's a dance of impermanence, a beautiful, chaotic symphony of change. Seasons shift, leaves fall, and new life emerges. Yet, so often we humans resist this flow. We fight against the current, trying to anchor ourselves in a world that's always moving. We cling to the illusion of permanence, desperately trying to hold on to things as they are. We hold on to memories, objects and moments, hoping to freeze time. Why do we do this? Why do we struggle against the natural order of life? Why do we fight the very nature of existence? Perhaps it's because we fear what lies ahead. The answer in part lies in our fear of the unknown. The future is a vast, uncharted territory and that can be terrifying. Change, even when it holds the promise of something better, can feel unsettling. It disrupts our comfort zones and challenges our sense of security. But what if, instead of resisting the current, we learn to move with it? What if we embraced the uncertainty and found strength in our adaptability? What if, like a skilled surfer riding a wave, we could find joy and liberation in the ever-changing nature of life itself? By Letting go of our need for control, we might discover a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment. Embracing change doesn't mean we forget the past or ignore our memories. It means we honor them while remaining open to new experiences. By flowing with the river of life, we can build resilience, foster connections and create a legacy that transcends time. So, why do we cling to what can't last? Perhaps it's time to let go and embrace the journey wherever it may lead. Alan Watts, the renowned British philosopher, dedicated his life to exploring this very question. He saw the beauty in impermanence, the wisdom in letting go. Watts believed that true peace and fulfillment come not from clinging to the fleeting moments of life, but from embracing the ebb and flow of existence. Through his captivating lectures and writings, Watts introduced Eastern philosophies such as Zen Buddhism to a Western audience hungry for meaning and purpose. He challenged conventional thinking, urging people to question their perceptions of reality and to find liberation in the present moment. In this video, we will delve into Watts's teachings on impermanence. We will explore the reasons behind our resistance to change and the problems it creates. Most importantly, we will discover how embracing the transient nature of life can lead to greater peace, fulfillment and even joy. Imagine a child trying to build a sandcastle on the beach. The sun is shining brightly, and the sound of the waves crashing against the shore creates a soothing backdrop. They meticulously pile up the sand, crafting towers and moats with focused determination. Each grain of sand is carefully placed, each tower a testament to their creativity and effort. But the tide is coming in, and they know it. The child glances nervously at the approaching waves, aware of the impending threat. The waves creep closer threatening to wash away their creation. The child's heart races as they see the water inching nearer, the inevitability of the tide becoming more apparent with each passing moment. The child fights back, desperately trying to hold back the inevitable. They dig trenches, build walls, and use their small hands to push the water away, but the tide is relentless. This, in essence, is how many of us approach life. We pour our energy into building and protecting our own sandcastles, our own fragile constructs of security and identity. We build our lives, our identities, our sense of security on foundations that are inherently unstable. Just like the sandcastle, our creations are vulnerable to the tides of change. We cling to possessions, relationships and ideas, terrified of the day they might crumble away. The fear of loss grips us, making us hold on even tighter. This resistance to change is the root of much of our suffering. 
We become anxious, constantly worrying about the future and the potential for loss. It breeds anxiety, fear and a constant sense of unease. Our minds are perpetually occupied with thoughts of what might go wrong, what we might lose. We become so preoccupied with holding on to what we have that we fail to appreciate the beauty of the present moment. The joy of simply being, of experiencing life as it unfolds, slips through our fingers. The truth is, everything is in flux. Nothing is permanent. The seasons change, landscapes transform, and life moves in cycles. Our bodies, our thoughts, our feelings, even the world around us are constantly changing. We are part of this dynamic, ever-evolving reality. To resist this is to resist the very nature of reality. Embracing change, accepting the impermanence of all things can lead to a deeper sense of peace and understanding. By letting go of our need to control and hold on to everything, we can find freedom. We can learn to flow with the tides of life rather than fight against them. In this acceptance, we discover the beauty of each moment, the richness of our experiences, and the profound interconnectedness of all things. This is the true nature of reality. Letting go to grow a personal journey with impermanence. I remember a time in my own life when I was desperately clinging to a job that was no longer serving me. It was a position I had held for many years and over time it had become a significant part of my identity. The routine, the familiarity and the predictability of it all provided a false sense of comfort. I had been there for over 10 years and the thought of leaving filled me with anxiety. The days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, each one blending into the next. The monotony was suffocating, yet the fear of stepping into the unknown kept me tethered to my desk. What if I couldn't find another job? The job market was competitive and I doubted my skills. I questioned my worth and wondered if I had anything valuable to offer outside the confines of my current role. What if I wasn't good enough? These thoughts plagued my mind, creating a cycle of self-doubt and fear. I would stand in front of the mirror, searching for answers in my own reflection, but finding none. I stayed, even though I was miserable, because I was afraid of the unknown. The grey walls of my cubicle felt like a prison, yet I convinced myself that it was better than the uncertainty that lay beyond. I was holding on to a sense of security that was, in reality, an illusion. The tighter I held on, the more I felt it slipping away like sand through my fingers. It wasn't until I stumbled upon the teachings of Alan Watts that I began to question my resistance to change. His words were like a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding me towards a new perspective. Watts's words resonated deeply within me. He spoke of the transient nature of life and how clinging to the past only hinders our growth. He spoke of the beauty of impermanence, the freedom that comes from letting go. The imagery of cherry blossoms falling and rivers flowing gently helped me visualize the natural flow of life. It wasn't easy, but I decided to take a leap of faith. Standing on the edge of a metaphorical cliff, I chose to jump, trusting that the universe would catch me. I quit my job, even though I didn't have another one lined up. The act of packing up my belongings and walking out of the office for the last time was both liberating and terrifying. It was terrifying and exhilarating all at the same time. The wind of change blew through my hair, and for the first time in a long while, I felt truly alive. What happened next? was nothing short of transformative. As the sun rose over the mountains, I felt a renewed sense of hope and possibility. Freed from the shackles of my old job, I rediscovered my passion for writing. I spent hours typing away on my laptop, the words flowing effortlessly as I reconnected with my creative self. I began to explore new opportunities to connect with people I never would have met otherwise. Networking events became a playground for new ideas and collaborations. I learned that true security comes not from clinging to the familiar, but from embracing the unknown. Each new trail I hiked and every horizon I sailed towards taught me that life is an ever-changing journey and the only constant is change itself. Finding freedom in the flow. The gifts of embracing change. Embracing impermanence isn't about becoming passive or indifferent. It's not about giving up on our dreams or goals. Rather, it's about approaching life with a sense of openness and acceptance. It's about recognizing that change, while sometimes challenging, is also an opportunity for growth, learning and transformation. When we let go of our need to control, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We become more adaptable, more resilient, more able to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of life. 
Furthermore, embracing impermanence allows us to appreciate the present moment more fully. When we're not so caught up in worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, we can savor the beauty and wonder that exists in the here and now. The falling leaves in autumn, the laughter of a child, the warmth of the sun on our skin, these moments, fleeting as they may be, become all the more precious when we recognize their impermanence. What is wisdom? A legacy of acceptance and growth. Alan Watts's teachings on impermanence are as relevant today as they were decades ago. In a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain, his words offer a sense of peace and perspective. They remind us that change is not something to be feared, but rather an integral part of the human experience. Watts encouraged his listeners to become more like the bamboo, which bends with the wind rather than breaking against it. He believed that true strength lies not in rigidity, but in flexibility, in our ability to adapt and evolve with the ever-changing circumstances of life. His legacy is one of acceptance, growth, and a deep appreciation for the present moment. He taught us that by embracing impermanence, we can find freedom from fear, peace in the midst of chaos, and joy in the simple act of being alive. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on personal growth and philosophy. I'd love to hear your thoughts. How have you experienced the beauty of impermanence in your own life? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. And stay tuned for my next video where we dive deeper into more life-changing ideas from other great thinkers. Thanks for watching.